Hey guys, this is Vimeo 91 and I'm talking about the PS5. Why? Because there was a leakage apparently of the PS5's graphic card benchmarks. And what that seemingly is, is just a score they give to tell you the general overall power of the card seemingly. I was watching Review Tech USA's video and he was pointing out that the benchmarks for the PS5's Gonzalo graphics card is going to be above 20,000, right? Now, to give a comparison, the GTX 1080 is at 19,370, and the RTX 2080 is at 21,892. So, this seems to be a very powerful card. If it's more powerful than the 1080, do you know what developers could do with that card? Because when you have the same stats on a PC and a console, usually the console looks and runs better. Why? Because the games are optimized for that console. With the PC, when game developers develop those games, they have to develop it for so many variants, but with the consoles they know what they're dealing with they know what they have to develop the game for they don't have to do it for variances they just optimize it for that console yes with the xbox one x and the ps4 pro they probably did have to do some variances with the games but even that probably was much less than they have to do with pc so yeah these seem to be really nice leakage in my opinion if that is the true benchmarks i'm not sure where this is coming from so take this all with a huge grain of salt but if those are the proper benchmarks and the graphics card is just above the 1080 in like graphic power level, this would be a beast of a console. Because the 1080 looks beautiful. At 1080p, usually you can play all the games at like whatever FPS they are and they look pretty good. And you can even play games at 4K. Yes, sometimes not at 60 FPS, but at 4K. If they are able to optimize those games properly, they'll probably get 4K at 60 FPS in this console. Maybe even with some ray tracing. I'm not sure about that, but that's what I think because like I said with the consoles, they optimize those games for the consoles. So if they're able to optimize these games to like use at least like close to full power of the consoles, these games are gonna look pretty good in my opinion. What do you guys think about these benchmarks? And do you guys think they're right? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe. May God bless you all.